What is up YouTube, Exit Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Rain X Toolkit for your Nintendo Switch. Now, in my previous video, if you haven't already seen it, I show you how to install Rain X custom firmware on the latest firmware version for the Nintendo Switch. So the Rain X Toolkit is a pretty neat little homebrew app that allows you to do certain things within Rain X custom firmware. It basically allows you to update to a later firmware without actually putting anything on on the root of your SD card and it will do it within the actual toolkit itself so that's pretty handy indeed. The toolkit can actually update toolkit itself as well so basically you can update Rainex custom firmware and the toolkit itself within the actual homebrew app. You can back up your NAND and there's some other really cool features as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the latest SD files for your switch. Now in this point in time we are on version 9.0.4 by Ojohnny so if you come into the link in the description below you'll see this version right here and we're going to download the .zip file now again this may be updated in the future if you're watching this maybe three weeks from now so be sure to update to the latest version what you're also going to need is the toolkit itself so if you come to the very top you'll see that we have the latest so download that and save it to your desired location once we have both things we're simply going to extract the SD files itself and now we're going to pop the SD card from our switch into our computer now as you can see I'm on the root here so if we go ahead and open the SD files we have a bunch of folders and files now this is pretty self-explanatory all you're going to want to do is simply drag all of these files onto the root of your SD card. Now you may be thinking well I already have these that's perfectly fine just overwrite them if it's a newer version or not. If you already have these files then this is completely unnecessary but if you do want to update the files or you don't already have these files be sure to drag them on the root of your SD card. Once you have those files placed inside of the root all we're going to do now is head over to the switch folder which is located on the root. So this is pretty much where all of the homebrew apps are stored so all we're going to want to do here is drag the toolkit nro onto the files hit ok and hit replace the file in the destination obviously you won't get that message if you don't already have it now that is pretty much it for placing all the files on our sd card so we can go ahead and eject that now so all you're going to want to do now is put your sd card back into the switch and boot into rain x custom firmware now you can use several methods and in my previous video i show you exactly how to do that so all you're going to want to do from here is simply head over to the album and open it this will go ahead and open the homebrew menu simply scroll to the right until you see rain x toolkit and boom there you have it all for ray and we're on version 1.1 simply open it and there we have it we have update rain x custom firmware so this is what i was talking about earlier you can actually up update the custom firmware itself by choosing that option and you can also update the toolkit with inside this app. You can actually change the Rain X splash image if you want to on your SD card as well. You can load custom kit files, so I'll go auto RCM. You can back up your NAND and system keys from here. You can do a quick reboot and shutdown and we also have the about page. So props to the developers and contributors for this application. This application is most likely going to get updated quite frequently. So if you do need help, be sure to comment below and I'll try and help you as soon as possible. But that is pretty much it. Comment, rate, subscribe and look good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.